as as we go, your phone your phone goes off as as we're about to start going. <laughs> Welcome to Bottom Chef. It's our first one room tour. Yay! We are here in Warren, Pennsylvania. We're super excited. We, we had a great big breakfast. That's true. With okay. a whole line of little elephants, as you can see. So it's good luck. Yay. And very watchy esque. Very watchy. Very watchy. So tonight we are making <laughs> Um, An exquisite sandwich. Exquisite really. tuna fish sandwiches. <laughs> um, all right, so here is, here are our ingredients. You have your uh, wonderfully lemon zesty tuna fish, <laughs> uh, beautifully displayed. You have your uh, sliced bread. Um, we have our George Foreman Grill, a staple, bread. which is already warmed up. And of course, we have our uh, peach tea <laughs> snapple rolling pin. <laughs> Also very refreshing. So, there we go. So, first thing you need to do is you take your tuna and you place it on your George Foreman so that it heats up. So that, you know, nice it gives a little, it, you know, gives it like a, like a nice little something extra. A little char, if you will. You know, instead of just regular cold tuna. Ooh, look at that sizzle. Mm, listen to that sizzle. It's delicious. Super classy. Oh, That's how we roll on, on tune three. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Make sure there's no smoke detectors. <laughs> You know, only using the spatulas that come with the grill. Only top notch here on T3. Oh, only really. top notch. Mm, look at that sizzle. Janine, would you mind tending this? Absolutely. And when it's all ready, you can it. just throw it down in this bottom one once it's all toasty warm. Absolutely. There you are. And while she's doing that, I'm going to roll out our bread so it's a little more artisan, if you will. You just take your Snapple rolling pin and you just squish the bread out a little bit. Just squish it out. This man is a culinary genius. He made a pillow cookie. Because I didn't have them, Chris. I hear they were delicious. Just ask my wife. I don't know, like I think Which I'm actually going to switch. There you I go. Think, stick I it down in there. Stick it on the receiver. Stick, stick, it, stick it down in there. Ding, stick ding. It, stick in the receiver, ding. Oh, look at that. Look at that tuna. Sushi and Jinji would be jealous right now. They would be jealous. And I'm going to continue rolling <laughs> as she continues to, uh, to, scrape. to scrape the tuna off the George Foreman. Now, if you had a refrigerator, which we do not because since we're on tour, mm -hmm. you could do things like add cheese and make a tuna melt. Mm -hmm. Again, unfortunately. No such thing. We have one. So no, so no cheese. We're just no cheese. Scrape. We're also trying to be a little bit quiet because we're not exactly sure if anyone else is in this building. I don't. I don't think there is either, but I might have heard a dog barking, so I'm not sure. I just don't want to wake anyone up. Or it's haunted. Or it's haunted. We don't know. Haunted. We got this very lovely hotel originally. It was $124 plus tax. Mm -hmm. I managed to talk the gentleman down to $55. So that was more than... Uh, more than generous. More than and generous. And it's a beautiful little bed and breakfast. We can't uh, in the morning. And they are going to make us breakfast in the morning at 7.15. Because we have to perform tomorrow. At 9, 9 a.m. <laughs> for the wonderful Sheffield, Sheffield Elementary, Elementary School. School. Alright, so once your bread is properly flattened and your tuna is properly warmed, uh, you can go ahead and uh, take <laughs> your bread, add some tuna on top of it. You can just, you know, just get right in there. Use your hands. Why not? Live on the edge. As Kathy Preston would say, that wash your hands first, kids. We did. You just, as you can see, I have showered. She took a shower. So I washed I'm... my hands. I'm in the shower next. <laughs> so we're all set. Once you got some tuna going on there, you can just add the other slice and stick that right on the George Foreman, which is already all toasty warm for you. Oh, oh, careful. I'm careful. No burns. No burns. No burns. You can close the top on that right there. And Ooh. prepare your other sandwich. More mm. sizzling. More sizzling. See, the nice thing about cooking the tuna, about toasting the, the tuna up, is it gets rid of some of the juices so you don't have soggy bread. No one likes soggy bread. No one likes mm -hmm. soggy bread. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. <laughs> grim, grim. As we say. Grim, grim, grim. As you say. Grim, grim. <laughs> so, Jamie, I'm telling it. Let's tell the... Uh, the home audience, how our weekend has been. Our weekend has been fabulous. Uh, we went to New York, went to Brooklyn this weekend on Saturday. Um, it was great. After our lovely cast party on Friday night. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, we got stuck in three hours of traffic. 
going to New York, so it took us six hours to get there. Yep. We got in around 7.30? Yeah. 7.30? So we left my... Oh, we left my house at 1.30? Yes. And then we got into New York at 7.30, 7 so that's okay. Uh, we stayed with the lovely Anna Smith and the delightful Drew Moore. And it then, was a delight, as always. It was a delight, as always. And then today we saw Maggie Lally, our professor and mentor and theater goddess. Perfection. So there you go. So that was lovely. And then we headed here. So here we are. Here we are. I was driving, uh-huh. and some gentleman wouldn't let me in, so I called him a book nugget. <laughs> Whoops. So, here we have one fresh uh, fresh off the grill. Mm-hmm. The other one is just going to be cooking a little bit more there. I'm just going to leave it going. Let the uh, sizzling keep happening. Let the sizzling continue. So, once you uh, have yours off the grill, you can take your uh, George Foreman spatula, and use it like a knife. You can cut it into little squares. Mm-hmm. You know, makes it a little fancier, you know, eating out of a hotel room. At least you feel somewhat classy, you know, maybe, maybe you're at like a dinner party, little finger sandwiches. You never know. You never know. And if you, you know. have maybe some things like a little cucumber, a little avocado, mm-hmm. bam, there mm-hmm, you go. Mm-hmm. Some it's, toothpicks. Some toothpicks. It's the, the class. Little, little, little umbrella things, you know. For your, for, your, for your drinks, stick them in the sandwiches. Hey, stack a couple of them up. Spring, summer's coming. Stick some umbrellas on your sandwiches. Stick some umbrellas on your sandwiches. You never know. Plating is always key. Plating is always key. As you can see, we have uh, resorted to a lovely Ziploc plastic bag um, as our lovely, lovely host of this bed and breakfast give you uh, each a plastic cup stored in a mm-hmm. Ziploc bag along with your uh, towels. Uh, yeah. Jamie Ann, would you like to... Uh, to taste the splendor with me. Oh dear. Here, you know what? Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining us here on Bottom Chef this we'll Sunday. See you next Sunday. We'll see you next Sunday. When we make who, who knows? knows?